I, as a Dalit woman, am an untouchable. My name is Bina Palikal. I'm 42 years old and I'm based in India. There are four castes, each of them divided based on what they're doing. But outside of this caste lies the Dalit community. Normal work is to clean, cleaning the toilets, sewers, when animals die, to skin them. You know, all, all dirty jobs considered by society have been done by the Dalits. People can't touch me, people can't eat with me, I can't go to the same tap to drink water from where the dominant caste, that's still existing in several parts in, in South Asia. And it's intergenerational poverty, so if the women are engaged in manual scavenging, the children also get into it. Uh, once the children grow up a little bit, 10, 12, 14, they also get into the same uh, employment. They can't do anything else because they are a son or a daughter of a manual scavenger. They have no rights to services, uh, whether it be health services, whether it be uh, clean drinking water, whether it be education. We have not had any rights for the longest time. We didn't claim our rights. And I think in the last several years, we have asserted ourselves. But this assertion is also leading to violence, both economic violence as well as physical violence. But despite that, there are several uh, positive stories on the ground level where women have fought against all odds to be able to you know, fight these, these kind of challenges. We will get there, it's just a matter of time. And we have also started realizing that this is our due share, you know, this is nobody's giving us charity. It's the government's responsibility to ensure that every Dalit woman and man has access to services, education, health, etc, etc. In the last two years, um, we've been supported by the Fund for Gender Equality, which is a grant under the UN Women. And they have supported the Dalit Women's Economic Empowerment Program and part of the, this program in Bangladesh, FEDO in Nepal, uh, Human Development Organization in, in Sri Lanka and Swadhikar in India are part of the Asia Dalit Rights Forum that is working on the ground level with the Dalit women. No other agency recognized that we need a program in South Asia to ensure that we empower them economically. There has been several programs on violence, but in the absence of violence, what do we do? We need money to build houses, we need money for education, you know, so economic empowerment was very, very important. We have several positive stories where men and women have challenged this system and uh, educated themselves bold enough to get into the normal workforce so what FGE has done is that it has brought this issue to the forefront of Dalit women's rights. The support has been very critical. We otherwise wouldn't be able to sit with policy makers. Today are sitting on the same table and arguing and putting their points across. And I think that's a very good outcome of this. And of course, the sustainability part of how we're going to take this program is still a challenge and we need to take this forward. Everybody is talking about sustainable development goals. That if you're talking about leave no one behind, you have to talk about the last man, woman, transgender, disabled. Unless we do that, I don't think we'll go very far.